Hey guys, it's Danny, your equine manager at Hope Haven, and we're back for another how to get your horse ready for a lesson video. So this time we're going to go over how to tack up your horse. So I've got my horse Paris in the cross ties ready to go for a lesson. She's already been groomed, which we have another video of. So we've already looked after her grooming. So now we need to get her all tacked up and ready to ride. So for riding today, can, or Paris is gonna be doing some walking, some trotting, and a little bit of cantering. So we're gonna need to put her boots on. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. Horses won't always need boots in their lesson, but if they're doing anything strenuous, like pole work or cantering, then we're gonna put them on to help support their legs during the hard work. So to pick which one I'm gonna go first, I want Paris's left side. And what I'm looking for is that the straps are gonna be pulling towards her bum. So I'm gonna open this one up. And they also have left and right written on the inside. So we can double check this. We might need to take my gloves off for this. They're a little bit sticky. So, and I can double check that these are Paris's boots because they say Paris on the top. Some of the horses have their names written inside. So this boot says left, right in the middle. So I know I'm on the correct side and I can double check by looking when I put it on, the straps are gonna be pulling back. So what I do is I open my boot all the way up and I'm gonna crouch down beside Paris. I'm not gonna go on my knees because if Paris were to take a step towards me, then I've got to work pretty hard to move out of the way. So I'm always going to stay on my feet or on my toes. So I'm going to take my boot around her leg and I'm going to slide it down. I start up past her knee, then I slide it down into place. So we want the top strap to be just underneath Paris's knee. So then we're going to get the logo kind of in the middle of her leg. And then we're going to pull the top strap tight and lay it flat on the other side. Then we go in with strap number two and number three, and then strap number four. This one is gonna go underneath Paris's fetlock, which is that joint back here. So you'll see the back of the boot kind of cups her fetlock. Then we're gonna take the strap and go around and under. Then we can check to see how tight our boot is by trying to wiggle it on her leg. And if it makes her skin move, that means it's nice and tight and that it's not gonna fall off while we're riding. And then we can go around to the other side and we're gonna do the same thing for her other boot. And we got it all the way open. And if I were worried this boot didn't belong to Paris, I can double check that her name is on the front and also that this boot is going on the right side of her leg. So we have, if I can get it open, we have right on the middle of the boot, and I can double check by seeing that the straps are gonna be pulling backwards towards her bump when I put it on her leg. I'm gonna crouch down, we're gonna start way up at her knee, slide down till we can feel that felt lock cuff lock into place. Then we start with the top, Nice and tight, and then strap number two, strap number three, and then strap number four, nice and tight around the bottom of her fetlock. And you can check and make sure it doesn't wiggle around. Perfect, and that's how you're gonna put her boots on. Next up, we need to put her saddle pad on. So our saddle pad just gives our saddle somewhere nice to sit so that her saddle sits nice and comfy on her back. So I'm gonna stand on Paris's shoulder. I'm gonna go one, two, three, slip it up. And so we're gonna go in front of Paris's withers. We don't necessarily need to come this far forward, but I just wanted to show you. And we're gonna slide the saddle pad back into place so that all of Paris's hair is lying flat underneath. It's not all scrunched up. So this is about where we want our saddle pad. It's kind of in the middle of Paris's withers and kind of follows this line straight down to her armpit. Could be a little further forward actually, there we go. So right straight down to her armpit. 
Then we're gonna take our saddle. We're gonna crisscross our stirrup over the top, just so that the stirrups don't bang her sides while we put it on. Now the same thing I did with my saddle pad. I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna lift it up and then gently place it on her back. So then we're going to lift our saddle pad up into the pommel and the cantle of the saddle to make sure it's not pinching her withers. Then we're gonna go starting on the right side. We're gonna attach our girth. So this is what our girth looks like. And we're gonna need to attach the buckles to the billet straps. So I'm gonna feed my billet strap through the first strap on the girth and then feed it through the buckle. So if you had never gotten Paris tracked up before, we're gonna start on hole number one for her girth so we can make sure it doesn't get too tight too soon. So we wanna make sure Paris is nice and comfortable while we get her ready. So we can always make it tighter. We can start loose and then make it tighter later. Then we're gonna come around to the left side and I'm just double checking to make sure my billet straps aren't twisted. Just because it's fabric up here and they're a little flimsy, they can sometimes get twisted. I'm gonna reach underneath to grab my girth. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here that I did on the right side. So it's fairly loose, so I'm probably gonna go up to about hole three on this side. Because our goal when we put our girth on in the cross ties is to make sure the saddle isn't going to slide as we walk out to the arena. So you can see I can still get my hand in there nice and easy, but my saddle's not going to go anywhere. So it's not super tight. I wouldn't get on like this. So it's loose enough that Paris is still going to be comfortable, but it's tight enough that as she's walking, my saddle's not going to go anywhere. And then lastly, we're going to put our bridle on. So this is probably about the trickiest part of getting your horse ready, but it just takes practice and then it'll be second nature. So first things first, we need to put our reins over Paris's head. So we're gonna go over the ears and slide it back. Then I can take my cross ties off. So we put our reins over Paris's head first. So that way if she decided to walk away right now, I still have something attached to her. Then we're gonna take our halter off. Oh, good. Then for now, I'm just gonna slide it over my shoulder. Then just like when we go to put our halter on, Paris is itchy today. Oh, good. So I'm gonna put my hand over Paris's nose, my right hand, so that I can control where her head goes. Then with my left hand, I'm gonna lift my bridle up to my right hand. So with my right hand, I'm gonna hold the bridle and Paris's nose. So I have control of the bridle and control of where Paris's head is. And then my left hand can feed the bit into her mouth. So I'm going to move my nose band out of the way. And get it on the outside. And then get my hand back over her nose. Then, so my left hand is going to feed the bit into her mouth. Then we're going to do one ear at a time to get the bridle over those ears. And then we're going to sort out the leather so that nothing is in her eyes or poking her in the nose while we get all our buckles done up. So I've made sure her forelock is untucked from the brow band so that it's not bothering her. And I'm going to go back to the left side. So now we have some buckles we need to do up. So first buckle we're gonna do is our nose band. So these, you can kind of tell where they're normally done up. So there's usually a pretty good place to start. And then to check, we're gonna see that we can fit two fingers right on her nose. So that's a good tightness for her nose band. Then for her throat latch, our goal is to be able to fit five fingers. So that's going to put us about here. So we have five fingers in her throat latch. And we're going to make sure all of our leather is tucked into our keepers. Then I'm going to tell Paris to whoa. I'm not ready to go yet, but I'm going to hang my halter back up. And I'm always going to make sure I have one hand on my reins so that I can tell Paris where I need her to be. 
And then if I were getting ready to lead her for a lesson, I would keep my reins over her head and clip my lead rope onto her nose band. Or if I was getting ready to ride Paris myself, then I would take the reins over her head and I'd be ready to lead her with my reins. And that's how you get your horse ready.